Good morning team. Um, today in this video we're going to create a simple elevator tutorial, an elevator platform that can move up and down. Um, so let's crack into it. Um, this is just an empty map. To get that go file, new level, default like that and then just scale up the floor, left click the floor and scale that up to 5. Um, right click in your content browser, create a new folder, call this elevator. Crack that open. Add a new blueprint, blueprint class of type actor. Call this elevator BP. This one should be super simple today, guys, but they're very, very useful. Um, right click on add, comp uh, not right click, just click add component, add a static mesh. Um, just leave that called static mesh. Go over here to static mesh in the details panel. Go one meter cube chamfer. That's just a cube with rounded edges, so it looks nice. And then unlock the scaling and change the Z to 0 0.1, like that. Um, and then lock that back up. Um, add another component, and this one will be collision, box collision. And just leave that called box. And just scale that so that it looks like it takes up most of the, the platform. Um, this platform might be too small for an elevator, actually, so let's just chuck that in the world and just have a look. Yeah, so that's that's going to be too small, so we're going to have to scale that up. Don't worry about the scores and the numbers on the screen, that's just from previous tutorials. So, go back into your elevator BP, grab your static mesh again, and maybe change the Z to 0.5, um, something like that. Yeah, that looks a lot better and then just change the size of that collision to take up most of the box. This is going to be the collision that will trigger the elevator to move up and down. So I'd put it up something something like that. Maybe a little bit um, lower in the Z. So probably, probably just like that there. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, that's looking much better. Save everything, jump in. Yeah, it's a nice, nice elevator platform. Alright. So I'm going to put that down in the ground like that. Um, go to your event graph, get rid of all of this. Click on your box, right click in the content browser, say begin overlap, add on component begin overlap. Um, other character, go is equal, um, not is equal, equal object like that. So we're going to check if it's equal to and we're going to get the player character. So is the overlapped actor, other actor equal to the player character? To get an if statement, use a branch like that and hook the condition up to the equal object thing. Um, and if it's true, um, we're gonna we're gonna have two events. So we'll have custom event down here, which will be um, elevator move up, or we could have just called that move up. And another one, oops, uh, custom event which will be move down like that. So next to that right click and add a new timeline and just call this movement like that. Um, and this is going to have a length of 1. It's going to be a float track. The float track is going to be called 0 to 1. You're going to right click add a keyframe at 0 and 0 and you're going to add another keyframe at 1 and 1. Just like that. Right click to add keyframes. Add key to float like that. Um, close that down once that's done. Then what we're going to do is we are going to go back into the viewport and we're going to add two billboards. And these billboards are going to mark the um, move positions of the elevator. So I'm just going to duplicate that with Control W. And I'm going to leave one at the origin and I'm going to leave the other one up at like, I don't know, like 500 on the Z or something. Maybe even higher than that. Let's go like 1,500 on the Z. So that's the default for the move positions. And I might just... Um, change the name of these. So this one's going to be move one, and this other one is going to be move two, like that. Okay, now off of this update um, thing here, we're going to grab our static mesh and we're going to say set um, world location, like that. And what we're going to be setting the location to is a lerp, so a linear interpolation between two values. Um, and the first value is going to be um, the world location of the move to one 
So get world location, drag in move, move one and get world location, copy that get world location node and then hook that up into B and then hook up move two into the target like that. Okay, and then hook up the alpha to the zero to one, just like that. So as this timeline progresses forwards from zero to one, the world location is going to move from A to B, just like that. Now, um, for move up, when we're moving to position two, we're going to say play, so it's going to play it forwards, and for move down, we're going to say reverse, like that. And that should be good to go. So first, we need to just go, um, once we begin overlap with the player, let's move up. And when we end overlap with the player, let's move back down. All right, fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. In, in the world, nothing's happening yet. Walk over it, boom, up we go. And then if we jump and leave, does it reverse? It doesn't want to reverse. Um, Wonder why. Hmm. What if we tick um, reverse from end and see what happens? All right. So we're in here. Moves up. We leave. Doesn't want to reverse, does it? Um. I'm not exactly sure why that is. Let's just add a um, print string to see if that event's actually firing like this. If this doesn't work, um, I've got another idea that we can use to make it come back down. All right, up we go. Jump off. It didn't. It didn't fire, did it? Let me just check that one more time. Okay, so it's not ending. The end overlap event isn't firing. Um, oh, I know why. That's not end overlap event. Jeez, I am bloody slow this morning. Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. <laughs> we're, we're getting there. Um, you want to grab your box and you want to say end overlap, add on component, be, and add on component end overlap, and you want to copy the condition and put this down here like this. Jesus, how did I screw that up? Wow, that's impressive. Alright, and then we want to move down when the player um, leaves, and then you want to hook that back up to reverse like that. And just one more thing before we test that out. Um, go up here, add a begin play node, and down in your components down here, find the movement timeline, drag that in and say set play rate, like that. At the moment, um, the play rate is one and it takes one second. So what we can do down here is if you type in div float and go one divided by a variable which we'll call seconds, like that. Um, whatever you type in for seconds now is how long it'll take for this timeline to complete. So, for example, because it takes one second for the timeline to complete, if we go um, two seconds, we end up with one divided by two, which gives us a play rate of one, which is two seconds. So, let's say we want this to take five seconds to complete. So, it's a little bit slower than it was before, because before when we were on the platform, it was going really quick. Um, so, let's give that a test. Just... Um, Control shift and then save to save everything. And we go. Um, excuse me. <laughs> she doesn't want to work. Um, maybe let me just delete this and see what happens. Maybe we were ending o overlap. Yeah, we're probably ending the overlap as it moves up. So what we want to do there is we want to just attach the box collision to the actual elevator like that. So now um, the box collision will actually move up with the elevator. Boom. There we go. Up we go. And then if we jump off, it goes back down. Okay. Um, and if I just hook up that play rate thing again. Just like that. Now this should move a lot slower. And I think I made it editable. Yeah. So you can change the time it takes down there. All right. On we get. Up we go. And if I jump, it'll move back down. And if I drop onto it again, and we back up, drop off. That's a fast fall ability, by the way. I made that in another tutorial. 
check that out if you if you're interested in learning how to make that. I think I've got a double jump as well. But that, that looks like it works. We've got a moving moving elevator. Beautiful. Boom. And these are the colorful pickups we made last time. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut that one there. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, and I'll see you soon with some more tutorials. Peace out. Have a good day.